Hello everybody, welcome back to a video on the channel and we have new icon moments coming out today So we're gonna take a look at those as always on a Saturday um, I did hear that the moments are available guys in the mid or prime icon player picks And I believe this is actually causing a little bit of a market crash because people are selling uh, players from their teams to go afford to do this because you have a chance of getting an icon moments I really don't know the full story of like the chances the odds and I actually did it myself So that's why you guys can see I have a couple packs in the store and I'm not gonna reveal to you guys who I got because uh, Because it was really special to me um, But again, we are gonna take a look at some of the new cards that we got today guys We're gonna take a look a little bit at just kind of everything going on and uh, Yeah so, uh, today I think we also got a new foot birthday SBC. I'm just ripping these real quick because, uh, people in this community seem to be getting foot birthdays out of these packs from the mid to prime moments pick and, uh, I'm expecting the same. So, EA, can you please deliver me a foot birthday? No, no, no foot birthday. Okay. So, moving on, uh, we are going to take a look first at... The objectives and SBCs, just to kind of glance over that. I don't think we got a new set of Man of the Matches because when I just looked on Flippin', I don't see anything added. So usually the new players are, are in Flippin'. Uh, so we got Coquelin with the 5-star weak foot, medium high. Um, looks like a good card. I don't know the price tag that EA are kind of going for here. 82 85 I think it makes it around like 100 k which is not the worst value. I would assume, my guess is it's going to be a 40% upvote on Flippin', 60% downvote. It's actually 56 to 44, which is, yeah, it's, it's a, for me, it's a, it's a card that's super linkable. Um, I, I can understand why people would like that. I thought DeVry was good yesterday. I think the SBCs are getting a little bit better. Um, so here, here I am showing my respect. Um, and yeah. So aside from that, uh, we have right now something going on where if you do the mid or the prime icon player pick, guys, you have a chance of getting a moments card. Um, that is currently going on. I think it's a glitch. Uh, yeah, pretty crazy that that is happening. Uh, but, you know, it's not surprising to me with, you know, the company that runs this game that it is happening. Uh, I find no surprises there. And, uh, yeah, so really what I want to do today is kind of go ahead and take a look at some of these. Last weekend, we did a video on the, the new drop of the moments, and you guys loved it. Um, because, obviously, there's a lot of differences with these new moments cards, so we're going to do the same thing. What I will say is that I had noticed that many of the icon moments, guys, uh, from last week started to go down a lot uh, yesterday night into this morning, and I think it's just mainly due to the fact that, like, now we've got more moments available, and, you know, the hype is dying a little bit. So, first one, my favorite icon, Pep Guardiola, who actually looks, like, really crazy. I don't know if he's still 3-3. He is, but medium high, um, that's a really good card, to be honest, for the DM position. The 3-3 is really the, the part that you may not like, but in terms of a card that, for Pep, this is gonna be, I think, his best card he's ever had, because Pep is usually not faster than 80 pace, so... That is a pretty nice card for him to receive. Uh, could definitely see people, you know, choosing this potentially if we do get the, the moments picks or, you know, things like that where this card would be somebody that people would be interested in. I think Blanc was already out. Schweinsteiger, so Eto is out. Eto is 4-4 with high-low. And for some reason, I feel like he never had high-low, but I could be wrong. Uh, his prime had high-low. So he has that high-low and he got plus one pace, plus two shooting, plus two passing, three dribbling and one physical. Um, no weak foot or skill move boost, but he did end up getting two balance, uh, two agility. It's a, it's an overall, it's a decent boost for Eto. Um, Eto with the finesse shot trade as well. He's probably going to be a little bit less expensive than last year. Last year he was a new icon, so I think a lot of people really wanted to go for him. Uh, Roberto Carlos, uh, this is a card that I am uh, really looking forward to potentially getting. He's actually, okay, this is so weird. So there's only one on the market. And somebody has decided that they're gonna they're gonna bid like 90k less in the first hour where they should have probably just bought it. But um, I've been using the prime in my team and I absolutely love them. Uh, so this one has plus one pace, plus six shooting, and I hit the post a lot with my prime. So for me, this could be quite the upgrade. I got to try to pack this guy. He's got 99 shot power. He's got plus nine on finishing. So 76 goes to 85. Uh, long shots go to 97. This should be a really fun card to take some long shots with, especially, you know, knowing that he has long shot taker outside foot as well. So that's, that's pretty sick. Um, that's a nice upgrade. Rivaldo, not really a card that people use, but I believe that he did actually get a weak foot upgrade. He's always at a two star. So a three star becomes, I don't want to say usable, but it's not two star. So it's, it's definitely better than that. He got plus two pace, plus four shooting, three dribbling, uh, two physical. And you know what? The stats on the dribbling are really nice, and every time I've used Rivaldo, he has been quite jammy. I usually only use him in drafts, but those are some really nice stats. So I think three-star weak foot, it, you know, it makes it a bit more interesting combined with the finesse and long shot taker trait. 
where like if you do end up packing this card you may actually think about it um you know and obviously that would only be relative to you know if you had like some more mid-tier players in the pack obviously he this card is still not going to be in the top tier but because of brazil because of the hype of the upgrade i would expect you know he's listed for 2.5 i wouldn't be surprised if people you know keep going for him alan shearer i'm not going to look at this card too much just for the fact that he has two star skills that is horrendous to have uh in fifa i'm going to be honest it's just not really great but you know there, there's some potential for some auto shooting and again I didn't really realize that I feel like half the icons that exist in FIFA all have outside foot shot trait, which is, like, so important for players to have. Uh, this year, it's such a good trait to have. So I'm not going to look too much at him. Michael Owen has a five-star weak foot. I believe his moments had that last year. Michael Owen has 49 long passing, which is just also horrendous. Um, and this is further proving why when you do the icon packs, you, you know, you don't really like to see the England flag. But, I mean, five-star weak foot with 97 finishing is not too bad. Um, I believe I got this guy in, like, my Riot to Glory two years ago. And he was pretty good uh, off the bench. He was pretty good. So that's a nice upgrade. Mateus has already been out. But, again, I want to see Mateus' price. Like, these guys are starting to really – yeah, Mateus is not even selling at 3 mil right now. So, you know, if you guys do have coins in this market, uh, a lot of these cards, you know, dropping fast. I think Moment's best. I think this – I think best might have his best year. Yeah, that sounds great. Uh, in FIFA since, like – 17 because i just think that the way that 90 version plays and you consider how much better this is than a 90 plus three passing three shooting five pace three physical and five dribbling um but this best has 98 dribbling he's got 99 ball control 99 dribbling 97 agility i mean it should be a card that you know his first touch should be phenomenal 97 acceleration 96 finishing you're gonna have to pay the premium for best uh early on 5.8 mil desai has 85 pace so that that is uh that's got to be a large upgrade i think his baby has 83 or 84 um but i know his prime only has 83 so yeah it's plus one pace on the baby but this is a really nice card with 85 pace very very fast um 95 defensive awareness and desai is always very strong in game so that's always a really really good look for him um a lot of these cards that we've seen so far have already been out. I think Frank Lampard is a new one today as well. He has five-star weak foot, which is really interesting. And he has 96 shot power, 95 long shots, 93 finishing. So I think if you ever did want to build like a Chelsea past and present, you could do it with him this year. I think all of his cards pretty much are, are not great in FIFA. I think this one is the first one I've seen that is really not considered by me to be garbage, right? He's got good pace, like decent dribbling, a lot of traits, which always makes a player feel a lot better than they than they would be without him. Um, so that card looks really good. I think Vieira is down at like three mil. I saw a post this morning that he wasn't even selling. Yeah, he's up for three one eight, and I think this is because people are just buying gold Conte. I'm convinced. Uh, moments Crespo finesse shot trait, four star four star for Crespo. Um, ninety eight finishing. That is that is sublime. Uh, long passing. A couple of these striker icons have very poor passing, which I will never understand because I just think the EA should make them all really usable. Finisteroy with three star, four star, a bit clunky, but good reactions and maxed out finishing. It's nice to see that even the taller, you know, players in the game that aren't as good, EA is just going and giving them 99 finishing. I like that. Chavi should be a really great player to use. Um, he's got four star, four star with 96 attack positioning, 98 ball control, 97 reactions, 90, 99 composure. And this guy's going to have auto passing, 99 short passing, 99 vision, playmaker trait, team player trait, outside foot. Should be able to, to absolutely bang in the long shots. This guy's gonna probably feel like a like a winter wild card Modric with icon links just on like some serious juice in the in the pitch. So that card should be really good. Kaká, five star, four star for him. Uh, he's seven mil right now. He's not selling, no way. But Kaká's always a nice card once you get to the moments. This is the one that really has the the sauce, right? This is the one that people like. I like that this version of Kaká has plus four shooting. That should make him feel like unbelievable with the shooting. He's got outside foot and finesse and flair. So skills should come off really nice with Kaká. Just remember, guys, that all these cards are going to most likely continue to drop throughout today as they continue to get supply uh, and get packed. So don't don't go crazy buying them today. We've got Paul Scholes here, uh, who actually kind of looks usable as well. They gave a lot of these icons that weren't good before, like baseline 80 pace. And let me tell you, Scholes has good shooting and passing. Still a little bit too slow for me, but, you know, if you wanted to use them, you really could now, which is great. Butcherguenio, this is going to be a serious problem, this card. Five star weak foot with 98 finishing and amazing dribbling and really nice passing boost as well. He's got 93 vision and 89 short passing now. So this card becomes very interesting. I mean, obviously, you got to give up the skills for this guy, but that is an interesting card. Now, let's look at JJ. Five star skills and a medium low with 94 agility, 93 balance, 
89 reactions, 94 ball control, 98 dribbling. Wow. So finishing is the downside with him, but it's very interesting how a couple of his stats play a lot better than what they say, right? So, you know, 95 dribbling, but his base 98 dribbling stat is there. Um, he's got 89 shot power on 86 shooting with 92 long shots. So this should be a really fun card to use. JJ is going to be a, a really, really fun card to use. 1.34 for him. I'm definitely looking forward to that. Hullet is on the market. No more, uh, you know, no more EA employees selling these cards. He's already on the market. And that is looking like Hullet is going to have his potential fastest card ever. I don't know. That is looking very fast for Hullet with 88 pace. Um, I'm going to take a look at that. So his prime is 86. I want to see over the time, over the years. Has this always been Hullet's card? Hullet in FIFA 21 had 88 pace, 95 shooting. Uh, so very similar to last year's card. FIFA 20, how much pace did he have? Oh, my God. In FIFA 20, he had 90 pace. Okay, I didn't even know that. That's insane. And in FIFA 19, he had 88 pace. So this is a pretty standard Hullet card. I, I, what more needs to be said about Hullet? He's got 99 shot power and 99 attack positioning. So demon box to box. This is this is the guy you want. Um, I mean, that card just looks crazy. So looking forward to using him. All right, so is the rumors true? Yes. So Maradona got a four-star weak foot. Oh, man. This card is going to be ridiculous. Now, he's listed at 11 mil right now, but let me tell you something, man. I'm, I'm going for this guy over R9 this year because he's 5'5", five five, ready, with 99 balance, 99 dribbling, and 97 composure, and 96 short passing, and 97 curve, and 98 vision. Um, this dude is going to feel like he has superpowers. I'm just going to say it. He's going to be amazing, and he's got 95 acceleration. So, you know, you guys understand how good Messi is this year, right? And Messi doesn't even have, like, the fastest card. But, you know, use the L1 sprint boost, and he just goes crazy. I do want to see the boost on this card compared to the Prime. So only plus ones in the pace department. Only plus ones in the shooting. You know what I really liked is that he got plus three passing. That's that's a really nice boost um, to have. He got plus two agility, which is also really nice. So, yeah, I mean, this card is looking crazy. I cannot wait to try this card. Finesse shot trait chip shot maradona's chips in game are crazy um it's gonna it's gonna take a lot of coins to try that card out so that card looks amazing um puskas is dropping a lot today as well he's down to 6.5 and look at the cards in the market that aren't even selling you know he was selling at eight mil so it is a really nice look to start to see some of these moments become way more affordable we've got moments zola here four four really nice dribbling 97 finishing zola is always with the traits one of my favorite moments to use i think he's awesome um, Drogba with the 4-4, four, a four, bit more responsive, very strong. And uh, headers are low-key crazy now, too. So Drogba should be very usable in my books. I think he will be, at least. Um, two Maradonas in the market. Rykard has 83 pace. Wow. Still 56 balance and 74 agility makes him not super ideal. But that is definitely a bit more of a usable Rykard uh, version, if I've ever seen one. He's, he's cheapest right now is 1.5, so... That's also quite interesting. I think we're getting towards the end here of, you know, some of the, the newer cards. I think Stoichkov. So Stoichkov is 4-4 now. That's awesome. Great shooting. Uh, 96 aggression. That's a really nice boost to have the 4-4. We've got Clivert with 90. Ooh, Clivert has 5-star weak foot and 98 finishing. All right, that is that is an interesting one. Um, flare trait, power header, outside foot. That That's a big boost for Clivert. That's a really nice looking card. I think it's definitely more usable than it's ever been. Um, I, I've never seen really many people use Clivert, so that's cool. Um, Suker is still 4-4. These guys have high finishing, though. I mean, 97 finishing. That's not, that's not, nobody's playing games there. We got Zanetti here. Um, 94 interceptions. Look, I think Zanetti, actually, even though he has two-star skills, because he's high-high with the four-star weak foot, I love this card in the, in the midfield. I think this is like, you know, this is like your, your, your center mid lam, which I'm looking for, by the way. Luis Hernandez, 4-4, high-medium. This guy looks like a problem. 96 acceleration, 96 finishing, outside foot shot trait, really good dribbling. I think this is a. I think this guy, guy had an upgrade. I, was he always 4-4? I packed his prime, I think, last year. No, he was 4-3, so he got a 4-4. That, that's a usable card now. Um, even at this time of the year, that card looks way better. Um, we got Maldini with the 87 pace, obviously listed for 15 mil. We know the vibes of Maldini. Let's check out Balak. So Balak's 4-4 medium high. I think Balak had a really crazy dribbling boost. Um, okay, so guys, Balak's dribbling before this moments card was 68 agility and 70 balance, and now he has 80 agility and 81 balance. So, this is going to be a very good card, um, especially with the 83 pace. This is going to be a very good version of Balak, and Balak was my most 
uh, capped player in FIFA 19. So the return of Balik may, may well and truly be on here. Lineker still looking a little bit meh. Um, Riquelme obviously had that crazy pace boost with now five star, uh, five star, four star. A little bit slow still, but you know he got the pace boost. Okay, is it just me or does Tyrion Re? 93 dribbling seems awfully high compared to the prime. I think he has like 87 usually. Okay, the 93 has 90 dribbling. Listen, he has 66 balance on the prime. And on this version, he has 81. So it looks like EA are trying to do their best to make him a bit more usable. Um, and let me tell you, like, I think a basic or an engine on this card, nuts, right? Because look at his shooting. Already maxed out. Finesse shot trait. Outside foot. Chip shot. I think Henri could be, could be a lot better this year. He's 7 mil right now. We got Cruyff. Uh, Cruyff is up there. Five star, five star. Wow. Cruyff has 95 balance. Okay. So the only problem with Cruyff before this moments card and always the problem is that he never has balance over 88 or 90 and his prime has 82. So Cruyff got plus 13 balance. Um, and then he got, he got plus five composure plus four dribbling. Okay. So before all of his dribbling stats under the agility and balance were under 95. Now they're all 99. Okay, that, that is a serious card. I think this is going to be the, the new Moments R9 this year because that is a big-time card. I think that card... It, you know what's funny? Like it, His base stats don't look as crazy if the, as they've been in other years. But when you take a look at his dribbling, it's way better. Deco got a left mid card. I don't know what's going on there. Four-star, four-star. Interesting position change. We've been getting a couple left mids. Sadorf, a couple right mids. Uh, I, I don't really mind it, but it's interesting. Deco at left mid, I'm not, I'm not sure about that one. Um, Makalele... 83 pace, looking really good. Looking really good. That's looking like a really good card. Oh, let's check out Dino. Okay, Dino. Is Lama on the market? Five-star, four-star for Dino, high-low. I mean, this is just looking like the, the card of dreams. So listen, this Ronaldinho, he has 98 agility. I want to see, I want to see, uh, compared to previous years, what his dribbling stats were. Because the common trend right now looks like EA is going crazy with the dribbling. Okay, so last year he had 96, 93. Interesting. Okay, so this year, EA has decided we're going to give Dino Moments from last year an upgrade from 95 ball control to 99 ball control. Okay, recently, ball control has been an emerging important staff for me because of first touch. If you can find a player in FIFA who has an amazing first touch, it's, it's game-changing because you get the ball under control right away and you go as quick as possible and you attack. This Dino now went from 95 ball control to 99. That's crazy. Um, his agility went from 96 to 98. It, this is a very nice card. Um, I, I think this guy is going to be crazy in this game. So awesome. I actually like that he's left wing a lot. He's been cam the last couple of years. Left wing actually works perfect for my team. So I'm going to go ahead and be selfish and say for my team, I love it. Bobby Moore has 78 pace, um, which is a massive upgrade. I've never seen Bobby Moore being that fast. Um, 80 sprint speed, 97 defensive awareness. So to my PS5 users, get ready to play this card because he's going to be a pain in the booty uh anybody else here that we're missing today we're definitely missing i think a couple of players uh garincha eusebio these cards were all out already uh let's see if we can get one more search here uh i'm, I'm trying to think i think lam is a big one i'm going to search individually for a couple right now and i'm going to go on flipping popular i think lam might be extinct okay lam is not on the market which is making me think that he potentially has a low price range let's see his price range is okay EA, you idiots. His price range is 1.77 mil. I don't know who at EA thought that this card was going to be less than that price. Um, again, he is 3-3, but let me tell you something right now. I play this 89 in the midfield still. He's amazing. This moment, Slam has plus 7 pace, 7 shooting, 8 physical. Okay, you're talking a player that has 90 base pace. Uh, what's his passing? 92. This is a crazy card. Um, this is going to be the, 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 the seriously the German team of the year, Conte. This card is going to be insane. So... If you can get your hands on this card today for 1.7 mil, if you can somehow sit there, you know, get your towel out and snipe this guy, I'm telling you right now, you're going to make coins. People are, are going to be wanting this card. This is a massive upgrade. And some of these new moments cards that get these kind of unique boosts, people go crazy to try it. Um, other popular players on Footbin that I can see, Puyol now has 79 pace. He's extinct. Uh, that is really nice to see because Puyol has been always disrespected, I think. I think last year his moments card had 80 pace. I think. I'm not too mistaken. So nice to see that they didn't totally scrap that. Fernando Torres has 4-4. A bit faster. He's extinct at 4.6 mil. Uh, Dennis Bergkamp has a 5-star weak foot. Okay, that's very interesting. 
Still a bit slow and not the best agility and balance, but I think it's going to make him feel a lot like Del Piero. So get ready for that. We have not seen Dennis Bergkamp a lot in FIFA recently, and we may see the, uh, the emergence of him again this year. Wouldn't be surprised if a lot of people start to try him out. Socrates. Socrates has been added. Socrates is on the market, I think. I'm going to take a look at him because Socrates is usually a player that a lot of people like. And he is on the market for 2.25. And let me tell you something. He has a five-star weak foot. He's six foot four. Oh my kid. So he got a big balance boost. Okay. So Socrates' prime, guys, has 60 balance. And this version has 80. So EA have boosted this card by 20 balance. Uh, they've also given him seven shot power. This Socrates has 99 shot power and 99 long shots. And he's got the long shot taker trait. Okay, this card is going to be very interesting. Very interesting. And this guy who packed it played one game, scored three goals, and decided, I want my two mil. So he sold it. Uh, well, he's not sold it yet, but okay. And this guy put a hunter on him, huh? And did you play with him? No, this guy. Well, this guy played one game and he didn't score. So maybe he's bad. I don't know. Um, I think that's coming to the end, though, of the newer cards that I can see. I think Rush always, I think Ian Rush always gets this five star weak foot boost, but I don't know if he's on the market. I'm going to check. Uh, he is on the market. He's 1.16. Yeah, he's five star weak foot again. Nice to see for Ian Rush. And I think there was one more card that I was really interested in looking at, but now I can't remember it. And I was just looking at it on Footbin, uh, and I don't, I don't really know where it went. Uh, I can't locate it. We're in trouble. But oh, Nesta! Right, I wanted to look at Nesta. Okay, is he on the market? Because Nesta is one of the greatest defenders ever, and he's never usable in FIFA because he has bad pace. And EA this year have given him 83 acceleration. Woo! That's a huge boost. His prime has 74, 70, and this Nesta in game has. 94 strength, 88 aggression, and 97 defensive awareness, stand tackling. So listen, the Serie A teams, okay? The moments are changing everything for the Serie A teams. These, these teams are getting a lot better. Um, that is a, an insane looking card. So all these moments, again, I think EA have absolutely smashed it out of the park because I'm looking at probably 15 plus moments today that number one, I want to put in my team right now. And number two, aside from those 15, I'm probably seeing give or take another 10 that I want to try out now that I've never wanted to try because I feel like they got such a pace boost. And let me tell you something, guys. We have a market crash going on before content. Mbappe was 630, and now he's 560. And this is because people are selling. I believe people are selling their teams, guys, to go ahead and do this mid or prime uh, you know, player pick, which is crazy. So I'm not surprised, but it looks like EA still haven't taken care of it because we're seeing uh, a, a, a pretty super... A pretty serious price drop off with a lot of cards because of this. I think EA, uh, because of that, you know, people are just selling, selling, selling right now. Um, I guess at least out of packs cards. Because if we take a look, you know, at the cards that are actually still in packs, these guys look pretty stable right now. Um, I bought Dybala for 143. He was 168 for a little bit, but I wanted to try him out today. And by the looks of it, I think he is still very, very expensive. He is still like 15. So the, the panic sell is not all there right now with the newer cards, but it looks like the out of packs cards, people are definitely kind of, you know, taking the money for a couple of those guys. I mean, hey, I've been doing well with some of the foot birthday investments with Ruben, uh, I forget his name, I think Ruben, uh, Ruben uh, Vezel, but I have these Odegaards and now I'm getting screwed by this, right? Because uh, people are selling Odegaard now to go do the mid, or, the mid or the prime moments. I have like seven of these at, I think 500. So no, 480. So I'm losing some here. So it's very interesting. I, I, I do want to take a look before I end the video today to see if EA have tweeted anything about it. But, you know, knowing, knowing EA, they probably haven't uh, said a thing. They probably haven't said a thing. Um, no, they haven't said a thing. So, yeah, that's what it is. Um, thank you guys for watching the video. Enjoy Icon Moments, and I will see you guys in the video soon. Peace.